Pissot Fishing Kayak If fishing feels like a hassle and tires you out, you should really consider trying out this kayak. It's designed for maximum comfort and functionality. To start, the creators deserve thanks for fixing a major headache for many anglers, tangled lines, and managing multiple rods. They did this by adding nifty dual fishing tackle holders to the kayak. They also took care of an important thing by making sure all the electronic gear stayed safe by tucking it into a waterproof battery compartment. For people who like to pack a bunch of fishing gear on jaunts, the kayak comes with an added perk, enough space to fit in all sorts of special gadgets and tools. Many people find paddling boats a big inconvenience. That's why the kayak comes with what's basically a motorized jet drive to help with movement. With a power output of 480 watts, this kayak can zip along at 10 miles per hour, making it not only a smooth ride, but also a swift way to reach prime fishing spots. Catch X Ancient fishermen would be envious of us, seeing this invention that makes fishing so much simpler. To start, the Ripton gadget allows you to scatter fish bait without having to go into the water. Still, Catch X isn't a fully automated robot, so you'll need to press a few buttons on the remote control to direct a small electronic assistant along the required path. Catch X will follow a set path, dropping bait at specific spots. You can easily bring it back to where it started by pressing a single button. You don't need to fret about your robot assistant unexpectedly shutting down midway because of a drained battery. It's got an 8,000 mAh battery in it. And if you're still concerned, you can opt for the upgraded version with a 13,400 mAh capacity, extending the battery life to 3.5 hours. The robot assistant can carry enough bait, handling up to 6.6 .6 pounds, so you won't have to keep going back to refill it constantly. With all these features already improving fishing, there's an extra trick up its sleeve, the Hydrobat Fish Finder. It hooks onto the back of the Catch X, dipping into the water, and works like a personal scout. It scans what's underwater and the water itself for you. Go Boat You've got a fishing boat right in front of you that's probably the top pick for many fishermen. For fishing enthusiasts, the Go Boat's ability to fold is a game changer. While it's already compact and simple to transport when unfolded, its capacity to neatly fold into a carry bag brings its convenience to a whole new level. When you open it up, you find a platform, a chair, a steering device, and a mount for a fishing rod. This mount is particularly handy for fishermen because it lets them secure their main fishing tool instead of having to hold on to it the whole time they're fishing. Fishermen will also appreciate the fact that the boat is durable despite its light weight. The boat's strength lies in its composite structure, while the presence of three distinct air chambers means you don't have to worry about the boat sinking if one gets punctured. To reel in a good catch while fishing, it's best to move around, preferably without manual effort. That's why they made it possible to add a motor to the go boat, and they've included their own electric one in the package. This little powerhouse has five speeds, allowing you to cruise at about five miles per hour. While the Go Boat appears different, it highlights the imaginative approach of people building homemade fishing boats. Motion Dredge. If you're accustomed to the old-school way of using a single fishing rod, this gadget might come as a surprise. With 12 to 20 evenly placed baits, this fishing device mimics the movement of a small school of fish, making it really good at attracting the fish you want to catch. It's also worth mentioning the baits themselves. These small artificial fish, upon closer examination, reveal impressive technology. They're connected using a double Dyneema fiber, which is 15 times stronger than steel and has characteristics similar to Kevlar. The bait is made of ABS plastic, which might not sound as impressive, but is still incredibly strong. In summary, both the attachments for baits and the baits themselves work together perfectly for fishing. They effortlessly attract underwater creatures and are tough enough to handle different kinds of damage. Fishing Spears 
You might think a ship floating in the sea with a pod attached is a novel way to have fun, but it's actually an inventive method aimed at making fish farming more eco-friendly. The large pod trailing behind the boat is actually a fish farm. It comes in various sizes, made from brass mesh. Interestingly, this invention doesn't float close to shore, but ranges from 3 to 150 miles away and can descend to depths of up to 12,000 feet. The pod keeps moving around, which helps in catching fish in a more environmentally friendly way, because it's always drifting fish waste doesn't gather in one place. Instead, it gets carried away by the current, and the brass used in making the pod helps prevent the biofouling. Let's not forget about the ship to which the innovative pod is attached. There are people aboard who feed the fish and keep watch of the pod. This boat moves along with the pod, using its engine occasionally to adjust direction. Egging. As technology evolves, fish farms are undergoing a transformation, with changes not just in individual components but in their overall design. A great example of this is the egg-shaped home for fish. The egg-shaped construction is completely closed, which is not typical of traditional fish farms, but the creators did that on purpose. The company is convinced that a closed facility is fully protected from lice and emissions, and also contributes to better control of biological processes. Plus, the closed structure helps workers keep a better eye on the fish inside the farm, making it safer for monitoring. As you can see, this fish farm stands out because it's smaller than its less innovative rivals. Actually, so far, the company made a prototype version it's about 70,000 cubic feet to check how efficient it is. In the future, the manufacturing company plans to create five full-scale egg-shaped structures, which will have a volume of 700,000 cubic feet. UOV this vehicle in front of you ticks all the boxes for even the most particular fishing enthusiasts, taking care of every single need they might have. First of all, you can get anywhere on this vehicle. For this purpose, the vehicle boasts tracks and a specially designed body. Thanks to them, a fishing enthusiast can drive over absolutely any terrain. Swamps? No problem. Challenging slopes? Easy. Fans of winter fishing will be delighted because the vehicle can drive on ice without skidding. Plus, there's more to love about this ice fishing ride. It comes with built-in holes to the body so you can fish without even stepping outside. You can even gear it up to clear away the snow that gets in the way of your fishing. The vehicle wasn't just designed for winter fishing. It's set up for any kind of fishing. It can float, so when you need it, it can turn into a boat. You'll find nifty extras on the vehicle, perfect for lugging around bucket bait and a propane tank. It's also got a rear step or tailgate for easy entry and exit. Wondering about storage? Don't worry, there are tons, and there's even a dedicated area for electronics where you can slot in an extra battery. Shenlin 1 Raising salmon in farms can be tricky, but China has created a clever solution, an innovative home that caters to all their needs. What immediately grabs your attention isn't the innovation itself, but the sheer size of the underwater structure. This massive octagonal cage, submerged, weighs around 1,500 tons, with a volume equal to about 40 typical swimming pools. Now let's dive into the tech side of things. Salmon love cool water for a comfortable life and breeding, something China can't do without using tech. So this structure is the first water farm that can go up and down. So in summer, the structure sinks to a depth of 82 feet where the cold water is located, and in the fall, the giant salmon dwelling rises to the surface. As a result, people can grow fish regardless of the surrounding conditions. But the innovativeness doesn't end there, and there's more to the innovation. This farm uses smart systems to watch over the fish all the time. They monitor things like the size and shape of the salmon in real time. With this info, the staff can adjust the feeding and housing conditions for the salmon whenever needed. With modern technology, we can now set up fish farms not only in water, but also on land. This, for example, is an average urban building that's been transformed inside to create the perfect conditions for breeding fish. Midgard 
With advancements in technology, fish farms are evolving into hubs of innovation. Take these farms, for instance. While the above water structures may seem like ordinary cages, these submerged sections hold surprises for many with their innovative features. These fish farms use special ropes that keep their shape no matter the weather, even during the fiercest storms. These ropes also allow adjusting the size of the underwater net, which is really important for farming sensitive fish such as salmon. In addition, innovative fish farms are equipped with special winch systems, which are used to raise or lower the bottom ring. This eliminates the need for costly large boats with cranes. Also, the system can be operated by remote control, so the farm staff doesn't have to venture out to sea for these tasks. Smart Fishing Nets Smart trawl nets might not be the newest invention, but they're a real game changer for people sorting fish on trawl ships. These nets can also be used underwater, helping separate fish from other marine life that weren't meant to be caught. To start, it's important to detect any fish that aren't supposed to be in the nets. The creators have fitted their nets with heaps of sensors and cameras to spot and identify these fish. Using artificial intelligence means you don't have to be glued to a computer inspecting every underwater critter. When a fish isn't the intended catch, it just gets released. The net has a sort of way out that only opens when needed. Fish sorters on trawl boats would exclaim, that's a Amazing, and it truly is, as it makes the job much simpler. Fishing Drone Drones have been a game changer lately. They're useful in all sorts of scenarios, even in fishing. Check out this cool drone made by Aero Kentiki, for example. If you think that the drone is just a tool for reconnaissance before fishing, you're wrong. It's got a cool trick up its sleeve to make fishing simple. It can cast a line with 25 hooks and a weighty sinker up to 5,000 feet into the sea. Using the drone as a breeze thanks to its user-friendly flight controller, telemetry, and GPS. You can fly it right out of the box without needing extra training. Plus, this drone handles tough weather like a champ, tackling winds up to 28 miles per hour. Packed with safety features, it ensures a smooth flight and a secure trip back if anything goes wrong. Just like a handy tool for a fisherman, this drone is lightweight, tipping the scales at only about 9 pounds. So carrying around this helpful assistant won't be a problem. Catching fish with a drone is awesome, but you know who couldn't care less about our fishing tricks? Birds. That's why it's smart to invent something that stops those winged thieves from snatching your catch. Chasing F1 Pro Instead of blindly casting a fishing rod, why not use a drone to pinpoint the best catch? Operating the drone might seem hard, but it's actually simple. You can control it effortlessly through an iOS or Android app or with a joystick remote. Just stay within roughly 100 feet of the drone. While controlling it, you'll see the drone smoothly moving in every direction without any flips, all thanks to the four thrusters the developers added. Once the drone gets to where it needs to be, the real fun begins. It reveals its standout feature for underwater scouting, a camera that captures high-definition pictures. It can dive down as far as 65 feet. Even at this depth, things are usually hard to see, so the camera comes with infrared lighting. Plus, it can spin all the way around, look up to 27.5 degrees, and down 75 degrees. Basically, it's the all-seeing eye of fishing. The app shows live underwater drone footage on your phone screen. This helps the fishermen spot areas teeming with lots of fish and cast their line expecting a good catch. Precision Seafood Harvesting Technology This invention came about when someone realized that using trawl nets for fishing seriously damages the environment. But it's basically a funky-looking net. How does a net like that actually help the environment? The net has a low-flow and turbulent environment inside it, which allows the fish to feel comfortable even after being caught. Using this new net makes catching fish a more selective process. Smaller fish not intended for capture can swim out through designated holes, while larger non-target fish are released alive and unharmed after being captured. Fish that aren't the main target can stay alive because they end up on the ship's deck and keep swimming within the special net. 
staying in perfect condition. This tech isn't just eco-friendly, but also gives consumers a top-notch product. are trying to save many fish species, but there's one exception, the Asian carp. Instead of trying to save it, people want to get rid of it fast. It's not just the crazy way it jumps out of the water, but also the havoc it wreaks on the fishing business. 